Today, we are excited to introduce one of Divi's most amazing new features ever. It's called Scroll Effects, and it allows you to create advanced animations and transitions that react to your visitors as they scroll up and down the page. Any element can be animated using a combination of effects, and creating advanced animations is easy thanks to our brand new Scroll Effects UI that streamlines the complexity of web-based animations and makes them accessible to anyone. Just click to add an effect and it works beautifully. Then fine tune the animation using simple controls. Any element can now be animated using a combination of scale, rotation, horizontal and vertical motion, opacity, and blur effects that transition based on the direction and speed that a visitor scrolls. You control the magnitude of each effect at different points during the animation, and then Divi takes care of the rest, creating beautiful transitions as those elements enter and move through your visitor's view. Create simple animations that add subtle depth and sophistication, or combine effects and animate multiple elements to create spectacular explosions of activity that will blow your visitors away. For example, let's add some subtle motion to this piece of text. First, I will add vertical motion to create a parallax effect. Look, now the text moves up and down based on the speed and the direction in which I scroll. You can slow down the speed by adjusting the starting and ending positions. Next, let's add a fading effect. With our starting opacity set to 0 and our ending opacity set to 100, the text will fade in as we scroll downwards. If we set the ending opacity to 0, with the middle opacity still set to 100, it will fade in and then back out again. Let's enhance this fading effect with some blur. With a starting and ending blur strength of 40 and a middle strength of 0, the text will come into focus midway through the page and then blur out again as it fades away. That's pretty cool. But the blur makes it a bit hard to read the text when scrolling quickly. Let's fine tune our blur effect by increasing the static duration of our middle blur value. Now the text will come into focus 30% from the bottom of the page and remain in focus until it's 30% from the top of the page. Let's see how it looks. Scroll effects really come to life when multiple elements are animated together to create dynamic compositions. Here, we have given the phrase, get moving, some real meaning using horizontal motion. Next, let's add motion and scale to the woman so that she appears to sprint through the air. We can add some blur too, so that she comes into focus as she scales up and gets closer to us. That really brings this section to life in both a meaningful and engaging way. You can really fine tune each effect, not only by controlling the magnitude of the effect, but also by adjusting the starting, middle, and ending keyframe positions. You have full control over the length of the animation and when the animation begins and ends based on the element's position within the browser viewport. If you want to delay the animation, then slide the starting keyframe position inward. If you want the animation to end before the element reaches the top of the page, then drag in the ending keyframe position. You can also adjust the middle keyframe or break it apart and extend it to create a static portion of the animation where nothing moves. Scroll effects are available today. So download Divi and take them for a spin. Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to check back next week for even more great Divi features coming your way.